astral project. Well, I never did. I tried. Let's go back in time to 1993. I was 20 years old. I had read this book about Robert Monroe. He was some guy who astral projected and visited some strange places. And in the book was a page. You too, you can learn how to astral project. It's easy. Lie in bed and visualize a point. I forgot how I, 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 I think you lie in bed, you close your eyes and you okay you wait to uh, get to the point where you have a, where you are, are, are about to cross the line in the sleep. There was, some, there was a step that you were supposed to do. I forgot what it was. Oh, visualize. Okay, visualize a point beyond your closed eyes. Visualize the point. And then when you reached the state right between wakefulness and falling asleep, imagine vibrations coming down slowly into your body until your body actually starts to vibrate and imagine them going up and down your body and you, sh you should pop out your spirit should pop out of your body <laughs> your spirit should pop out of your body damn I tried the, the problem was reaching the state Right before you fall asleep, between wakefulness and sleep, I always fell asleep. I never could, I never could damn astral project. But it caused me to have, to have some weird dreams. It caused me to have lucid dreams. In one dream, I was at my old neighbor, at, at the neighborhood I lived at. Today is my old neighborhood. I wish that I lived there again. And I was on the streets traveling the streets and I noticed this is weird this is not how this is not how the street really looks oh I must be dreaming and I was able to take control of my dreams but I lost control eventually and slipped back into dreaming not really I was dreaming another time I was on top high a thousand feet in the air on top of a flat metal platform connected to a long pole to the ground. There was no way to get down. I saw, it suddenly occurred to me, how did I get up here? How did I get up here in the first place? Oh, I'm dreaming. So I I I caused the I caused everything I was on the, the platform I was on the pole wherever I was started to fade away I started to control my dreams damn I wish I could remember what I was doing another dream I had I was flying in figure eights in front in my front yard and in another dream I was at blockbuster video looking at a horror movie box you know they had the boxes the, those movies came in the flat the the boxes and on it was a horrific monster with three heads and all of a sudden I was this monster I was drowning a person a victim in a sea and at the next after I finished drowning my victim by sheer by mental thoughts my hands at my side I just rose up into the air started floating 
looking uh, looking at it looked exactly like you would if you had floated about a hundred feet in the air oh it was awesome and I, the thought occurred to me this is how Jason can be chasing a victim and Jason's just walking and the victim is running as fast as they can next thing you know the victim runs smack dab into Jason so I never did get the astral project but I tried <laughs> interesting enough a uh, month or two later my grandma was driving me to visit my cousin Ann my uncle David my aunt DM now I don't know if at the end, no, at the end there was a lot living there. And we're just talking. I never mentioned this, this to anybody that I was trying to astral project. I remember I'd go to bed thinking to myself, I'm an astral, I'm an astral project. I, damn, I never could. Reaching that, reaching that point right before I fall asleep without actually falling asleep, I could never do it. But all of a sudden, out of nowhere, out of the blue, we and just Brian, Grandma were just talking about everything, anything, random shit. Grandma said, mentioned about astral projection. She's like, don't ever astral project. I know, I, I was reading about a man who astral projected, came out of his body, and he couldn't get back in. And I, I, I thought, wow, this is this is interesting. Wow, what a coincidence! I had never, ever, 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 ever mentioned astral projecting to my grandma or anybody else for that matter. But damn, I sure wanted to astral project. I, I, I did. I'm a, I'm a astral project. I never fucking could. Maybe it's a good thing. But. I, <laughs> I wonder what would it be like to astral project and to go to Area 51 and to see that shit. I could trespass on their goddamn property where it's a they can shoot to kill if you trespass on Area 51. But if I could have astral projected and, and caught and floated my happy ass to fuck the Area 51, I could have thrown my fucking nose to their asses. And looked at their shit and come back. Any of you out there, have any of you out there truly astral projected? And now, in my cynicism, I ask can you really travel via spirit body to a literal place like Area 51? Or is it all in the fucking head? Or is it just like a dream? You're not really going there. Damn, I wanted to astral project. I finally gave up. But I had some interesting times. In my failed attempt to astral project, I had some lucid ass dreams that I had that coincidence where my grandma just mentioned never astral project. <laughs>